Hello, welcome to this CMC Markets trading update with myself, Jasper Lawler. So we've just had the, the Bank of England rate decision. So we're on Thursday at the moment. By the time you're seeing this video, probably got a couple of extra days worth of price action. But really the point of what we're, we're going to get at here is uh, the nature of the decision, why it happened, and, and uh, how that's going to translate into trading this coming week. Now, <clears throat> in, in the week ahead. Now, um, if you're looking over to the uh, the screen here, uh, I do want to bring your attention to the, the market calendar because there's going to be a fair bit of economic data from the UK next week. And I think one thing that we can take away from this Bank of England meeting is that they obviously weren't willing to cut interest rates purely on the basis of survey data. They actually want a bit more hard economic data to give us some indication as to where the UK economy is at after the the EU referendum. So looking at our market calendar here, there's a, there's a few things we can do just to kind of make life a little bit easier on the calendar. Uh, one thing I'm going to do here is just go to um, edit on the calendar. And I'm just I'm going to unclick these, uh, these other countries and leave us just with UK economic data. Uh, so we can get all those other things out of the way. Uh, I've got the high and the mid selected, that's fine. Uh, click done there. Uh, and then so at the moment we're just on today what we can do is make it a week and then I can uh, and then I can just make it the following week so the week starting the, the 22nd uh, which is the one that you'll be uh, interested in when watching this video so as you can see a fair bit of data out some big headline data number one being inflation the CPI um, and so really what we want to see here is um, how inflation has been impacted by this drop in the pound. By default, a drop in the pound is uh, going to be um, a, a positive for creating inflation. So obviously, uh, a rise in inflation should be a reason for the Bank of England to be a bit more wary about rising interest, about, about cutting interest rates. You know, really, when you see higher inflation, that would be the time to raise interest rates. Now, actually, the Bank of England let rates, uh, let inflation sit about 5% for around a year, uh, not following the, the financial crisis, and, and left rates at 0.5%. So, a bit of historical precedent to say that's not the case. Um, we've got the uh, various measures of inflation. Uh, we've got the unemployment report. Uh, and so, want to see whether there's some indication that businesses have already started um, holding off on, on employment decisions um, because of the uncertainty around the vote. Now, this data is going to be more pertaining to prior uh, to the, the Brexit decision, but it will still give the, the Bank of England a little bit of colour on to whether they... Um, you know whether the economy is indeed being being impacted by the by the Brexit, uh, and then following that we've got retail sales. So this data is coming out throughout the week, and again it's all just giving us a little flavour as to whether this decision by the Bank of England today to keep rates on hold is going to be continued into August when the next decision takes place. It's only in three weeks' time. The difference there is that they are releasing inflation uh, data, uh, their inflation forecasts as well. So it would be a time, uh, a bit more timely, a bit, bit more time for economic data to come out. And when they're making the forecasts, could be an occasion in which they actually decide to cut interest rates or maybe just some other a bit more creative policy for, for spurring on the economy. So looking at the charts here, uh, we've got uh, sterling against the dollar, the euro and the yen up on the screen. You can see that we've had a nice pop higher today as Thursday. Again, the picture could look a little different by the time you're looking at it. Um, but the general idea here is that we're seeing a bit of a reversal of the downtrend in sterling. Um, I had highlighted here um, in, the, um, in, the, in the chart forum um, a few days ago, that um, we had pretty much what was akin to a false break below the 130 level and that uh, it seems like there's some RSI divergence, a small lower low being formed in, in the, the RSI here. So, you know, the, the sticklers would say that maybe it's not divergence. As it turns out, you, what you've got to do here is um, look at the fact that basically there was a very small lower low made close to flat in the RSI 
whereas there was a steep lower low made in the price. So there's obviously a shift of momentum here. So what you've got to do is look through the, the, the specifics of the, the technical analysis and just try and understand what the actual dynamics are, what it's actually trying to tell us. So here, what it showed us is that the downside momentum slowed and we've seen a big push to the upside now, obviously triggered today by the Bank of England decision to raise rates. So uh, there's a big line in the sand around 135, which is what we're running into at the moment on the sterling uh, against the dollar. And there's a similar line in the sand, I think, on, uh, on sterling yen, which is this uh, formerly declining trend line underneath the, the price here which kind of capped this channel, which we dropped through on the uh, on the Brexit vote. So in and around that sort of 144.25 area, I'd say, on, in sterling yen. And then looking at uh, Euro cable, <coughs> um, if, this, uh, if this increase in value in the pound is to continue and we see uh, Euro sterling continue to drop, then this former high from, from back in April, um, around 81.20, would be an area to, to, to look at here um, if we can, can extend this current level of strength. The Bank of England have kind of signaled that August is a possibility for a rate cut. So there's probably only so far that this sterling strength can go. But for the moment, you know, all bets are off. Um, it looks like the Bank of England aren't going to get too aggressive. And so that gives uh, sterling, especially when we've got a bit more political stability now, um, some, some room to, to, um, to, to move a bit higher. And so, you know, we've had a good jump so far, possibility of a pullback, uh, but the trend, the, the overall kind of larger downtrend in cable seems to like it has a bit more room to retrace a bit further. So good luck with trading this week. Pay attention to these, uh, these uh, big economic announcements uh, from the UK and um, let's see how it impacts cable. Thank you very much. Um, good luck with trading. Jasper signing out.